is hot and getting hotter. It's all because of the urban heat island effect. Jay Cardozzi is here with Matt Milosevic to talk about what this means, Jay. Yeah, we realize it's a little strange to be talking about the <laughs> urban heat island effect, considering how cold it is outside right now, how right. cold it's going to be tonight, and what the weather's been like so far this month. But this thing is real. Just a couple of nights ago at 11 o'clock at night, it was 20 here in the city. But you go outside the city a few miles, it was in the single digits. So yeah, it's Jake. real. It really saw is. that on your newscast and was like, oh, you know, it was just taken aback because we see this not only in the summertime where it can be significantly warmer right. in the metro than the surrounding rural areas, but we also see it even when it gets colder. And in fact, Louisville's temperature in the urban area is increasing faster than any other city in the United States since the 1960s. This past summer, Louisville International Airport experienced 35 days at or above 90 degrees. All surrounding counties had significantly fewer 90 degree days, with Finchville, Kentucky, just 20 miles to the east, reaching 90 only three times. The main reason for the urban heat island in Louisville? Concrete. A parking lot like this one can be 20 degrees warmer, even on a chilly November day, than a shady area. In the summertime, that difference is even higher. That warmth stays stored up in concrete overnight, where the urban heat island effect is often most evident. Temperatures outside of Louisville this past July ranged between 4 to 6 degrees cooler overnight than at Louisville International, and this temperature difference can also be seen in the winter months, too. And while warmer winter temperatures may sound nice, in summer, high heat contributes to more weather-related deaths nationwide than any other natural hazard. One way to combat urban heating is a healthy urban forest. However, in recent years, Louisville's tree canopy has diminished to an estimated 27 percent, well below recommended coverage of 40 percent or more. The Louisville Metro Government, Office of Sustainability, and Brightside have set out to remedy the problem through tree plantings, which brings several benefits. There's many positive benefits. It will help clean the air. Uh, stem off uh, water runoff from major storm systems, and also that causes erosion from our sediment, our soil layer, and then um, beautifies the city. During the fall tree planting season, Brightside planted along West Ormsby and in Chickasaw Park, but they need individual volunteers to help grow the tree canopy across the city. They have provided online resources to help citizens make the right choices when it comes to planting a tree. Brightside has a list of native trees um, on our website as, an, as a tool for our community. So you can look to see what is native and what are some of the best choices. Uh, we also have a list of nurseries on that website. So, Jay, really the wheels are in motion to help to start to reduce the urban heat island effect in Louisville as those small trees that are being planted this fall begin to grow. We'll start shading some of these uh, concrete areas and mm -hmm. hopefully cooling things. And that has an economic benefit as well. You know, these trees aren't free, of mm -hmm. course. They, are, they generally are donated for Brightside, but they could still cost five to $700 to raise the first three years of their life. But the impact that they give over the, their lifetime in terms of not having to turn your AC on to cool your place, your home, or business. Uh, those things are, will give economic impacts back to the city as we move through the next few decades. So the city officials are really doing their part, and if everybody else kind of did their part as well, we could probably nip this in the bud a little bit quicker. Huh? Yeah, we really could. You know, over the course of, we're not talking global warming and it right. taking hundreds or thousands of years to change. We're talking five to ten years yeah. as, as these trees grow. So something we're looking forward to, uh, to following up on and, and, and hopefully uh, you and I talking about cooler temperatures in the summer right. more so than the winter time. Now I'm sure tonight everybody would want the Herbin Eat Island effect to, yeah, that's to happen. Sure. I know Vicky and Rick would for sure because it's going to be cold tonight, guys. Oh, warm us up. That's sure.